Hey everyone, C. Stan here with the Lord of the Rings The Living Card Game. Today I'm taking a look at one of the latest quests and the final quest in the Dream Chaser cycle, uh, the City of Corsairs. And in this quest we have chased down the Stormcaller uh, with Captain Sahir and we've got to um, either catch up with it or take it out and it's nice that they give you an option uh, in, a, in like a lot of the sailing quests actually all the sailing quests they give you options for what you want to do whether you want to pursue the combat route or the questing route so looking at it in detail here um, it's a sailing quest at least the first stage and it says progress cannot be placed on the coast of Umbar if the players are off course so if you want to pursue the questing route, you need to pass the sailing tests. But it also says if the storm color is destroyed, or if the stage has 15 more progress on it, advance to stage 2. So they will also let you advance by destroying the storm color. And um, the interesting thing is, uh, and this is a bit of a spoiler, so if you want to... Um, be surprised. I would, I would skip ahead a little bit. But the next quest phase, quest stage, that is, requires you to do this. Uh, when revealed, each player assigns damage among non-ship characters he controls equal to the total damage on each ship objective he controls. So if you've taken like 12 damage on your ships and you jump into this phase, all of a sudden you need to distribute 12 damage uh, among your characters and that could often end in a wipe so there are a couple different strategies for this um, one that works is uh, to go with Ents and just play down a bunch of Ents and then when you advance to the next stage you've got lots of health among all your characters not to mention the Ents like taking damage. And this has worked for me before. Um, the other strategy, I would say, apart from um, just taking all the damage on your allies, is to just try to get through the first stage really, really quickly. And so far, I've seen a number of players do this by trying to take out the Stormcaller on turn one. That's a lot to ask because it does have 18 hit points and 6 defense. But if you choose the right heroes, uh, if you choose Tactics Eowyn, she can get up to 10 attack. Bayorn for another 5. And then you've got two ship objectives to help you out to boost you um, another 8 or so attack. And if you do choose, uh, what is it, the Silver Wing makes your heroes get plus 1 attack. So there is a way to actually take this guy out on turn one. And that way you only have to defend him once. And it makes the damage you have to distribute among your characters uh, pretty low. Uh, however, I found it does pretty much require you to take this attack undefended on one of your ships. So that you have enough attack to uh, to take him out. So that does mean distributing 6 damage. And it does mean taking his boarding 1. So you're going to have a Corsair in play uh, when you advance to the next stage. But uh, that's generally a good strategy and it's worked for me as well. I want to take a third approach. Uh, which is maybe not as consistent. But it's going to rely on questing through the first stage on turn 1. And that's going to require placing 15 progress, bypassing the 5 threat, plus whatever card is going to turn up in the staging area, as well as passing the sailing test. So, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be tricky. Um, and uh, I have been able to do it, but I, I'm not entirely sure what my success rate is. It might take a couple tries. Um... But in, in doing it this way, you get to avoid 
ever engaging this guy and having his uh, Corsair enemy come out. You just get to instantly advance to the next stage. You, you take no damage on your field. So it really is uh, quite convenient. Okay, so let me go load the deck that I'm using. Um, here we go. Okay, this starting hand uh, is n definitely not ideal, so I'm going to mulligan. Okay, this one's much better. We get to start with two resources on Denethor. And, alright. Okay, so, everything's set up here. Um... We've got Southern Belfast in the staging area. To travel there, you have to reveal the top card of the Corsair deck and engage it. So we're going to try to avoid having to do that. We'll just uh, choose our starting ships. Mine are going to be Narlenya. And, well, you have to always pick the Dream Chaser. So I'm going to go like that. All right. Okay, start the first turn. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to play Grappling Hook on Eowyn. And you might have a, a sense of how we're going to get so much willpower here. So this deck does rely, this strategy does rely on getting Grappling Hook early. Uh, and we try to make that as consistent as possible by using Denethor and Heed the Dream. Uh, because with Treebeard's resource and Denethor's three resources, you can always guarantee if you start with Heed the Dream, you'll be able to search your entire deck, and you will be able to grab Grappling Hook. And uh, that'll be... It's, a, it's a more consistent at getting Grappling Hook. Now, I would say uh, Denethor himself doesn't offer much willpower, and choosing someone like Eowyn or, I mean, uh, Kyrdan with four willpower would help you quest more successfully, but I think it would decrease the rate at which you get Grappling Hook and decrease your overall success rate. Anyway, okay, so we've done that. Um, I'm also going to play down some allies here. Uh, and we want a lot of allies so that we can pass our sailing test. So my first one uh, is going to be free. Sorry, it's going to cost one less because I have the Naralenya. Reduce the cost of the first ally. Play each round by one. Uh, so let's see what I want to do. I will play... One, two, three. Okay. I will play this guy. Uh, I'll play this guy for one, and then I will play Squire for one. Oh, actually, I didn't have to pay for... Oh, yeah, I did. So one cost. He becomes one cost because of Narlenya. Squire costs one. This uh, Dwarven Cell Sword costs one. And then this is the moment of truth here. We go into the quest phase. Uh, okay, we go into the quest phase and we need to pass the sailing test. So, let's see. We need 15 progress. We got 5 here. We can turn up a 4. So, ideally, we want uh, 24 willpower. Um, okay, so we're going to get 10 here with grappling hook. And we're going to get another 6 here. So that's 16. This brings us to 21. 20, so with our ships, that's 24. So that means for sailing, uh, we just got to do 
for to the sailing test. And this is the tricky part, because uh, if we don't get this, um, well, things aren't going to go well. Okay. So we shift off course, reveal one, two, three, four. Good, we got actually two success symbols. And so we're back on course. We commit five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we reveal a card. Uh, okay. It's rough waters, so they're at one, two, five, seven. And this is where we power everything up. So we discard grappling hook and exhaust attached character. Uh, so this commits her one to the quest. Now we ready her, raise our threat by three, and in fact I forgot to decrease my threat by three in, to begin with, so I'll just leave it as it is. And then she gets plus nine, so she goes up to, uh, so we go up to 20, and it looks like we need two more willpower um, to get 15 progress, so we'll damage Treebeard twice. And that brings us to 15 progress. So we do it. 15. And we move on to the next phase. And here it says each player assigns damage among non-ship characters he controls equal to the total damage on each ship objective he controls, which is zero. Discard all ship enemies, ship objectives, and ocean locations in play. So luckily, this is... <laughs> These are ocean and ships, so we get to discard all those from play, which is pretty nice. Uh, now we advance, shovel the Corsair deck and Corsair discard pile into the encounter deck. Oh, into the set-aside encounter deck. Okay, so there's just some uh, logistics here. we got to swap this. No, no, no. we got to swap this here. Yes, these go here. These get shuffled in. And we get uh, watchtowers. These go in here. Let's shuffle that up. Okay. Advance to stage three. Searching counter deck. Oh, no, no. What happened here? 3A. Oh, no, this is right. Uh, searching counter deck for one enemy in one location. Add them to the staging area. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to find this guy, since I won't have to engage him for a while, and put him up there. Uh, and then I'm going to grab Streets of Umbar and put them in the staging area. Okay, and now we're done with the quest phase. We can... Uh, make sure I did everything properly. Add one resource. If the Stormcaller was not destroyed at stage one, add one resource to each raider enemy in play. So he does get a resource. Uh, there we go. Nope. There we go. And then we are done with the quest phase. Go to the travel phase. Put the Streets of Umbar active. And all it says is, uh, when faced with the option to travel with Streets of Umbar in the staging area, the players must either travel to a location named Streets of Umbar or add two resources to a raider enemy in play. So I am going to travel there. Well, we won't engage him because I'm not ready. And we'll go to the refresh phase. I think I will pay one to keep the cell sword around. And start the new turn. Oh, and my objectives are gone as well. Okay. Uh, we got another grappling hook. I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be. Um, let's play Lembus down on Treebeard for one. 
it'll help him take this guy out. And uh, do we want to draw here? Uh, I think so. So let's draw. Okay, got an earbore hammersmith. Uh, okay, yeah, so this deck is really good at the first stage, but the second stage is kind of slow, so... Um, let's see. I'm going to need, I think, uh, attached to a character. Um, I think I will attach this. I, sh I should spend all the resources I can so that he doesn't get to steal much. So I'll spend one here, and that leaves me with just one resource left. And can I take him out? I need, I'm going to need five, uh, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should be able to do it. Um, okay, so let's see. I will commit four, five to the quest, and... Re reveal, add one resource to each engaged raider enemy. Then each player assigns damage among characters it controls equal to the number of resource tokens on raider enemies engaged with them. So that does nothing, so it gains surge. We reveal city of corsairs. X is the highest number of resources on a raider enemy in play, so that's uh, just one. So we committed four, five. They've got three, four. We get one progress. It says, uh, to travel there, we need to search for a Corsair enemy and put it in the staging area. So we're just going to optionally engage him. We lose our resource to him here. And he's going to attack. We're going to attack and defend with Squire. He dies. Add one resource to a Gondor's hero, hero's pool. And let's see. We will attack... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we need two more damage, so we'll ready. Heal three. Uh, eight, nine. Oh, no, we don't need that many. It's just eight. Okay, so he's dead. Okay, uh, refresh. We'll pay for the cell sword. And start a new turn. Okay. Um, at this point, this is just zero. So I'm going to commit uh, four, five, six to the quest. Seven, eight. Hopefully we can clear that out. We reveal Corsair Infiltrator. Um, so we got just two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is done. We could travel there, but I don't feel like it because I don't want more Corsairs. I'm just going to um, engage this guy and defend him. Three attack on um, three defense. No damage. I'll take this opportunity to draw. And then uh, we will start. Well, we'll go to refresh. I will keep the cell sword around and start a new turn. Okay. We got some repeatable healing now if we want it. Um. I think I should probably do that. Oh, I have to give up one of my resources to this guy. So I'll do that. And probably get this reputable healer out. Well, that is only one. I could... Why don't I get this guy out for two and grab the Lembus back? I can't play the Lembus yet. Um, but it'll be useful. All right. 
Now we will commit four to the quest. We'll reveal Umbar Harbor. So that's actually five in the staging area. The threat goes up one. And we'll travel to it. So of course your enemies get plus two defense. Shadow. Okay, so now he's at uh, four attack. I will defend uh, with, uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to need how much to take him out. I'm going to need just five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I will defend then with the cell sword. One, two, three. Yep, yeah. I'll defend with the cell sword. He's at three attack. He gets an additional shadow card. We got uh, nothing and nothing. So I take a damage. We attack for one, two, three, four, five. Taking him out. We draw. Start a new turn. Oh, sorry, I pay for the cell sword. Okay, Daron's runes. Draw, draw. I will discard Gleowine and play We Are Not Idle. Just drawing one. Okay, I will get down my Aaron Rider for one. And Lembus for one. Good. Okay. Um, now we will commit four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We reveal it's Umbar Slaver. So this is just going to be, uh, oh, actually, uh, I just realized last turn that uh, Corsair had two extra defense from this. So I needed to deal two more damage to Treebeard in order to have enough attack to kill him. Okay. Uh, so that's sorted out. We committed nine. They've got uh, two. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cleared. Engage. Now, uh, looks like he is at two attack, so we will defend with Denethor. Nothing happens. Now, let's see, I could ready Treebeard here, and he would do three. I need to get to eight, so could I deal him five damage? I don't think I could. So it looks like we are just going to have to uh, pass on killing him. So let me draw and let me transfer a resource to Denethor. Oh, not a damage resource. Here we go. Refresh, keep the cell sword around, and start a new turn. Okay. But we're getting some attackers out, finally. Um, hmm. But what is better right now? I will play Lembus for one. So I got two Lembus there. And get out a Knight of the Swan for one. Here we go. And... Uh, all right. Commit four again. I'm going to save the rest for attacking. Reveal Streets of Umbar. So four versus one. Oh, I spent a resource. So actually, this guy gets a resource. Spend any number of resources. I spent a resource three times now. So he should be at plus a bunch, unfortunately. I, I wasn't really considering that. Uh, okay. So... Four versus one, two, three. Four is a tie. We travel the streets. And now this guy attacks 
for a bunch. And what we're going to do here is probably sacrifice our Erebor Hammersmith, I think. Um, or should we finally kill off our Sellsword so we can start playing other cards? Maybe we should do that. Uh, we'll kill off him. He's dead. And then we will attack... For one, two, three, four, five, six. We will ready tree beard. Seven, eight. And then he's dead. And then we'll transfer resource over to tree beard. There we go. And draw a card. Okay, new turn. Oh, uh, well, finally, we got Ireth. We'll play that for down, down for free. Uh, we'll get down. Um, let's see. Let's get down some more attackers. Two. And then. Hmm. We will transfer a resource over to Treebeard and play down another Lembus. All right. We commit four, um, five, th yeah, five, I guess, um, to the quest. We reveal, oh, another Corsair. So right now there's only two, so, um, we would get three progress. I will play Grappling Hook, Exhausting Treebeard, adding three more so we get six progress. So five, six. Now we engage him. He gets a shadow. Uh, we defend with Denethor and place two resource on it because it's a Corsair. So he goes up to four attack. We take a damage and then we ready Treebeard. Heal three, and we attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to kill him off. Draw a card. Okay, draw two more. Discard the uh, grappling hook. Okay, and start a new turn. Okay. Let's transfer now. We need some Warden of Healing. So let's move a resource here. Play down the Warden uh, for two. And we could also play down Envoy for one, two. And get a resource here. Uh, no, let's spend one, two and get a resource here. Playing down the Snowhorn Scout from one, getting a resource, getting a progress there, and we're ready to go. Commit four, uh, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Yeah, so the deck is mostly low cost or free allies, just for that first turn where you need to pass the sailing test. Another Corsair. Okay, so let's see. We had eight versus two. We had six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we make this guy uh, come down. Gets a shadow card. We will heal off an image here and here. The three attack, I will defend with Denethor. If it destroys an ally, no, it doesn't. Okay, we need five attack. And that means we are going to need to ready Treebeard. So he's readied, gets healed, deals one, two, three, four, five attack, and he's dead. Draw a card, start a new turn. Okay, 
Uh, let me draw another card. Good. I was hoping I'd draw into that. So our attack is finally coming online. Okay. We can get another healer out. If we... Uh, actually, let's just get a, another... We don't need another healer right now. Let's get another Anvilas guy out. There we go. Okay, so we don't need to rely on Treebeard so much for his attack. We quest... Let's put our questers down here. Okay. Our chumps are over here. We commit four... Five, six, seven, eight. Reveal. Uh, that's just four. So we get five, six, seven, eight. And we will travel to it. Nothing else to do. So we just uh, refresh. Start a new turn. My threat's getting kind of high. Uh, it's a bit of a worry. We'll draw another card. Hanamarth, nice. We'll get him down. Okay. And... Let's see. We're going to need a six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, anything else I want to play? No. Maybe. Let's see, i got 20 cards left. No. Okay. Put him down. And save him for later. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We reveal Umbar Harbor. So we got four. We make four progress, and I will deal two damage to Treebeard to bring us to the next stage. So 18. So this is cleared. And 18, advance. At Shattered Monument to the staging area. So this thing says each raider enemy with at least one resource is immune to player events. And at the beginning of the resource phase, add one resource to each raider enemy in play. Uh, finally, we add Sahir engage with us. Uh, each player searches the encounter deck for a discard pile for an enemy and adds it to the staging area. Okay, so we will also grab. Um, which guy? I think we want from the discard pile. Yeah, one of those weak guys. Where are they? These guys. Okay. Adds it to the staging area. Okay. Add one resource to each raider enemy in play. Okay. So, while any enemy has resources on it, can Captain Sahir gains indestructible, so he can't be killed right now, although he can take damage. And then, um, when a hero or enemy is destroyed, add its resources to Captain Sahir. And if we do destroy him, we finally win. Okay. Um, so let's see. We should probably go here, so we can complete that. And there's no penalty for traveling there. I will set a reminder, though, at the beginning of the resource phase. Uh, set reminder. There we go. And that will allow us to remember to put resources in play. Okay, we engage the Corsair Infiltrator. They both get a shadow. And I think I'm going to chump. So, uh, oh, he gets an additional shadow. I will chump Sahir here. Um, ha. Okay, he dies. And then I'll get a resource on Denethor. I'll exhaust Denethor to defend this thing, though. I think. Or no, I'll just chump with... Uh, no, I'll chump with him. No, I'll defend with Denethor. Three attack on three defense. Steal an additional shadow card for each resource token. Ooh, okay. Sh uh, so that's shadow. Just one. He gets another shadow, nothing, another shadow, nothing. So that's three on three. We're good. Let's attack. We need five. So that's one, two, three, 
four, five. He's dead. I move the resource over to him. We attack for two, four, six. Uh, and that'll deal four damage. So the first two go to moving the tokens, and then uh, one, two more. Uh, if we had had a Lumbus around for Tree Bear, we may have just won there, but we don't. I will use Hanamarth to look at the next card. Ooh, unfortunately, this guy's going to enter play and is. Uh... Okay, we should be fine. Okay. So, refresh. Uh, sorry, before refresh, I'm going to transfer a resource over here. And then, new turn. So this puts a resource on each raider enemy in play. This guy's not in play yet. Uh, okay. So we will play Squire for one. Or no. Let's play Heed the Dream for one. Search our top five and grab the Knights of the Swan. Okay. I wanted to uh, shuffle. I wanted to uh, save the three here so that we could search the rest of our deck in case this thing wasn't in the top uh, in the top uh, five. Okay, so we spend one to play him, we spend us one for the squire, and yep. Okay, we're gonna need, let's see, uh, this is gonna be one threat, five, six, seven, so we'll quest four, five, uh, six, seven, to tie it, he comes down, and we tie, then engagement, they both get dealt shadows. Uh, this attack three will go, he will attack the Snowborn Scout, uh, place two resources on it. So yeah, it's a good thing I didn't defend with Denethor. Let's see, that would have put him at five attack. Well, he would have survived. Okay, so chumped. And then Sahir, I will defend with the Squire. If it destroys an ally, add resources to a raider enemy and play equal to that character's printed resource cost. So we get a resource. He's dead as well. And... Okay. So we need six to kill him. That's three. That's six. He's dead. The resources move over to Sahir. And I'm going to need four attack to get rid of those tokens, two to get through the defense, and then six more to take him out for a total of 12. So let's do uh, three, six, nine, 12. And tree beard for fun. And that's the end. So, uh, so here is gone and uh, victorious first try with this deck. Um, and we. Um, managed to actually get through the first quest phase on the first turn through actually placing progress, which was um, quite amazing uh, that it all worked out well. Uh, the deck obviously uh, is built for it, uh, trying to get that that grappling hook on, out on the first turn, and just a ton of one-cast allies for the to pass the very first sailing test. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed watching, um, and happy questing.